Now try these two examples. If you're taking notes on the page while you're watching this, go ahead and try these on your own. Hit pause and then I'll, I'll come back and show you the explanations. Okay, here are the answers. 4x over 7 equals 2 fifths. I need to isolate the x. That means I need to get rid of this 4 and this 7. And I can do that in one step by multiplying the left side by 7 over 4. And that means I also have to multiply the right side by 7 over 4. And on the left, the 7's cancel out and the 4's cancel out. And that leaves us on the left with x equals 2 over 7 times 5 over 4. And I'll go ahead and reduce this here. The 2 and the 4 can reduce to become a 1 and a 2. And so on the on the right I have 7 over 10. And that's my answer. In the second example, 5x over 6 equals negative 15 over 9. I need to get rid of the 5 and the 6 over here in order to isolate x. So I multiply by 6 over 5. And whatever I do to the left, I also have to do to the right. So I also multiply by 6 over 5 on the right. On the left, all these numbers cancel out, the 6's and the 5's, and that leaves me with x on the left equals, on the right, I can reduce these fractions. The 15 and the 5 can both be divided by 5, so that reduces to a 3, and that reduces to a 1. That negative sign right there is still there, though. Don't forget about it. And the 6 and the 9 can both be divided by 3, so I'll make that a 2 and that a 3. And then look at this. This 3 and that 3 cancel out. So those are gone. We've reduced the entire thing before we even do any division. We're just left with this 2 right here. And we're left with this negative sign. Don't forget that. And that's our answer. X ends up being negative 2. Now, if you didn't reduce these fractions in place like that, you would have ended up with this. Uh, negative 15 times 6 would be negative 90. And the 9 times 5 is 45. And you can still see that that reduces to negative 2. You still get the same answer. Um, and it's okay either way. If you reduce the fractions first, most people find that to be a little bit easier. But this is certainly mathematically equivalent to that and gives you the same answer.